everybody i just hopped out the shower so i'm going to apply my fragrance which i've been wearing this the past two days first instinct by abercrombie and fitch one two three and we're gonna go back here four five boom that wasn't enough five damn i really like this i got a compliment on this fragrance today and apparently it doesn't smell too masculine. It smells pretty unisex, which I was like, huh. Because when I think of Abercrombie and Fitch, you know, you think of your typical cologne, but the compliment I got on this was that they're like, oh, this is a, they just thought it was like a perfume, which is cool. But, so this is a great fresh out of the fragrance shower right here. First Instinct Abercrombie and Fitch. This thing goes for $32. You might be able to find it for less or maybe $33 at most. But yes, this does not perform that well. You maybe get four to five hours out of this fragrance, so reapply it or overspray it from the jump and wear it to like outdoor events, um, social things. You know, I think this is a great date fragrance. Fragrance? Great date fragrance. I'm gonna say great day date fragrance. And you know what? I'm probably gonna do a YouTube video about that. Yes, that's a good idea. But a couple other ones that are really solid are Versace Bright Crystal for the ladies or for anyone that likes feminine leaning scents. To be honest, this is a, so yeah, it's a, a pomegranate, pomegranate lotus magnolia kind of fragrance. So it's floral, but it has that fruitiness from the pomegranate. And I love this fragrance. It's a huge compliment getter and you can get a full size of it for around $52. So for a Versace, the price is just, it's great. Less than 60, you know what I mean? So Versace Bright Crystal. This is another one that is actually very different from person to person. Some girls claim that it only lasts less than three hours on their skin, but on my sister, I still smell this after eight hours. And she is not an oversprayer by any means. She only does maybe two to four sprays of this on her clothes. So this thing carries on her for sure. I always smell it. Next, I'm gonna go with... A pricey one, which is Oceania by Raja Parfums. This reminds me of the summertime. It reminds me of the beach. And this was my go-to fresh out of the shower fragrance when I first got it, when it was especially hot here. And I would always felt, God, I just keep stumbling today. I would always feel amazing when I wear this fragrance. And I got a ton of compliments off this scent. I know Oceania is a bit pricey, a bit Compared to the two I just showed, it's like triple, quadruple the price. This thing is maybe $290, $300, something like that. So if you have money to spend and you're just like, you know what? Yeah, let me get that. If you're balling like that, check it out. Check it out. It's a, I wouldn't consider it sexy, but it's like a very easy to like, well complimented, fresh fragrance. You know what I mean? So Oceania is a great one. But if you want something that is more challenging than Oceania and you're, you don't want Elysium, I would level up to Oligarch. So this one, I believe is like the $300 fragrance, but it's 50 ml, so it's half the size of those bottles up there. But this scent, it's fresh, but it has a bit of a mossy twist to it. So it smells a little bit green, which is really interesting and is just not typical in fresh fragrances. It's kind of like, huh, that's that's a little bit unique. So if unique and expensive is what you're going for, you can give Oligarch a shot. Now I will say when you're out there in public for the most part, like this Abercrombie and Fitch one might pull better reactions than the Oligarch one because it's a bit more mass appealing and it, there is no complexity to it. You know, it's very simple. And as we've known through this, not just through this channel, but in general, people favor the simple things. Like the simple things are what is mass appealing. Um, the more complex it gets, the more off-putting it can become. But again, it's uniqueness versus mass appeal. So that's what you have to juggle right there. Another great fresh fragrance. Of course, I talk about Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense for women, but I always recommend the guys to get this one. This is sexy. This is super, super sexy. Lemon Apple Musk. And you know what? I feel like this is a fragrance that you either love or you used to wear it so much that you hate it now because the smell drives you crazy you know it's just that you overwore it in the past but nonetheless this fragrance still garners a lot of compliments great positive reactions and it's one of the most popular fragrances like ever sold 
at least in this day and age, I would say in this, I was going to say this decade, but I can't remember the exact date that Light Blue Intense came out specifically, but there's been millions of this bottle sold, of this fragrance bottle sold. So I gave you one, two, three, four, five fragrances or four, yeah, I'll give you a sixth one, another, I'll do seven. I like the number seven. Versace the Dreamer, we talked about Versace Bright Crystal. And if you want something that is more unisex instead of feminine and you want to slash that 52 into 26, this is the fragrance right here. Versace Bright Crystal, it's lemony fresh. But this one, like First Instinct, does not perform that well. So please overspray it. Don't be afraid to just hit those same spots. You know what I'm saying? Put it on your clothes. If you're going to the beach, I think this is a really sexy fragrance. Like I've mentioned in a previous video, this reminds me of the summertime when I would be working. Like I would wake up and it's hot and I'm just like, okay, it's time for me to focus on this. And I'm just like, I'm sweating, but I'm like doing my work and I just smell, I smell this all the time. So it reminds me of the hustle, you know? Um, great fragrance. Versace the Dreamer. And lastly, oh, that's actually a good one too. Never mind, I'm bumping the umber, the umber, the number up to eight. Aqua de Joya, the amount of girls that love this fragrance, astounding, astounding. You know what, this is one of the, uh, this is another fragrance that screams simplicity is beauty, okay? This is a fresh fragrance, but it's also very sexy in my opinion. I think light blue's a little bit sexier, but there's like, that's just me personally. This one has been getting a lot of attention. Like when my sister wears it, people love it. And my mom has worn this a few times, like she wanted this, like both of them really gravitated towards this fragrance. And in general, the women that wear this scent really, really, really love it. Like it's something that lifts up your mood. It makes you feel good, makes you feel confident. And it just makes you, it just makes you walk a little bit taller. You know what I mean? So Aqua de Joya, Lemon Mint, great projection. Like people can smell you when you enter the room with this scent within the first couple hours. And lastly, we're gonna do a celebrity fragrance that I actually, I actually like this one. The smell of this one, if you like Lychee, Hue by Hailey Kiyoko. This thing goes for around $65, but, huh, that actually looks pretty sick, right? Oh, yes. I do like this fragrance, another simple scent. It's just like a fruity, lychee, slightly floral fragrance. Now I know it looks a little bit feminine, but I think anybody can really pull this off. Like if a guy rolled up smelling like smelling like lychee, amazing. You know, he does not going to smell like your typical shower gel. He smells like lychee and that's great. That's very attractive. So another thing to note about this fragrance though is even though it's $65, it is also not the best performer. So that's the downside. You're like, damn, 65 and it's not performing. A little bit a little bit shaky right there right but on scent alone this got me compliments for sure very easy to like straightforward fragrance and it dried down with some musk so if you're not a fan of musk stay away from this one but if you love musk like a fruity musk you're gonna enjoy this fragrance so there it is eight fragrances that are amazing fresh out of the shower that leave you feeling confident happy and just ready to take on whatever you have next so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.